Um, and now we'll go to Councillor Jans. Thank you. Um, again, gratitude to the to the mayor and to everybody who's helped bring this together. Um, the three lenses that I would decide my vote on the budget, which I shared with the mayor, were housing, climate, and transportation. And I just want to go back to homelessness for a second here. So I was reading uh, about drivers of homelessness, and it's interesting that high rent and low vacancy rates are the primary predictors of homelessness throughout the country. And so, in other words, you know, when vacancy rates are low, more people are likely to end up unsheltered. So we obviously are doing some work here that I see will be included in, in helping answer our city plan goal about creating more housing. And it also notes that a family spending more than 30% of their household income on housing is considered cost burdened. And I looked at some, some data about Edmonton and some families, the largest expense matching or exceeding their rent sometimes is actually the cost of transportation, the cost of having one or two car family. Um, so for me, if I want to reduce homelessness, if I want to make sure that everyone has a home, one of the most important things we can do is help to help to avoid people falling into homelessness in the first place. And that means if we can make investments in transportation to keep more money in our pocket and help families go from a three car or a two car to a one car family, we're helping prevent homelessness. Uh, that's that's a critical line I think we have to draw because we've seen through the pandemic that um, the number of folks have on the on the streets have doubled. So how can we go back a step and, and, and help them from ever getting there? I saw a stat about one of the biggest drivers for payday loan companies and credit card debts and some of those other, um, the, the major high interest villains out there are um, auto failures. That you actually have a car and then the engine goes or something and you're out maybe 11 or 1200 bucks in uh, um, repairs and then you, know, you get trapped in this cycle of debt and before you know it, you're on your way to bankruptcy. Uh, and that's because we as a city aren't offering somebody a better choice and a better alternative to keep your costs down. So I, uh, to me, it's not really about the bikes or the, or the buses. It's, it's this broader conversation about what are we doing to help keep more money in the local economy in our local pockets. And just some rough napkin math, um, those, you know, the, those uh, um, folks over in the insurance industry have estimated between ten dollars and $12,000 a year savings by going to one car. So if you have a house and you go from two cars to one car, you save between ten dollars and $12,000 a year. So rough math, let's say $10,000 a year. You're getting your gas at Costco. Let's say we help 10,000 Edmontonians. Only 1% of the city become a one-car family. That's over $100 million into the local economy. $100 million just for 10, 1%. Let's say we go up to 10%. If we can help 10% of Edmontonians be one-car households, again, $10,000 times 100,000 Edmontonians, you're seeing the zeros. That's a billion dollars. We can keep a billion dollars in the local economy that can go to local restaurants, local stores, local amenities that can you know, maybe af afford to, to, to keep their kids in more activities. Finally, I, this is a bit of a terrifying stat, but I realize now, uh, the av I'm, I'm 38. The average age of Edmontonians, according to the census, is 37. More than half of the city is younger than me. And I think about where I was and how I, you know, was lucky I was able to prevent putting off my first car until 26. How can we help more young people go car-free longer or go gar car less longer? And that means seeing the investments in public transportation, um, bus rapid transit, jump signaling, convenience, frequency, all of these other pieces, they're not nice-to-haves, they're must-haves. So if you said, dear city manager, can you bring us a plan to keep a billion dollars a year in the local economy? Well, he has. It's right in front of us. It's the bike plan. We just have to build it. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Jans.